Do you know that you're living with vampires? They lurk in dark corners of your house, but they aren't really sucking your blood. They're sucking your home's electricity. The term vampire power is used to describe appliances that constantly consume energy and drain power even when they're inactive. For example, when you turn off your TV, there's no picture on the screen, but the tiny red standby light is still on. This stays on so that you can reconnect with your TV every time you use the remote. Now, although this is a very convenient function, it is constantly draining energy even when you turn your TV off because in reality, it's in standby mode. And there are three categories of such always on devices your TVs, satellite set top boxes, computers, game consoles, modems, smart appliances are all classified under the electronic devices category. The second category is related to infrastructure, including things like doorbells, clocks, analog thermostats, hot water recirculation pumps, and so on. And the third category includes all types of refrigerators, freezers, ice makers, wine coolers, and things that have to be on 24 seven to keep your food and drinks cold. But how significant is this energy consumption? Does it make a difference at all? In 2015, the Natural Resources Defense Council published a paper on home idle load. They studied up to 70,000 homes in Northern California and found out that home idle load accounted for 23% of annual energy consumption per household. To put things into perspective, always on but inactive devices cost $165 per household every single year. And the worst part is that all of this is happening when we aren't even using our devices. It's like each one of us is literally donating hundreds of dollars every single year to fossil fuel companies. And to make things worse, this idle load accounts for 44 million metric tons of CO2 pollution. And let's say if everyone in the US cut their home idle load, eight billion dollars can be saved annually which is enough to shut 40 coal power plants in a decade luckily a great deal of electricity can be saved through low-cost actions by conscious consumers and through responsible policy implementation on a policy level designers should design their products with the goal of minimizing idle power and manufacturers should also disclose idle load electricity on each product to make consumers more aware of how their shopping choices can reduce home electricity bills furthermore society would also benefit from financial incentives for reducing their measured idle load just like the pg and e's winter gas savings programs on an individual level, what you can do is whenever you're about to buy new home appliances, make sure that they're energy efficient, such as those labeled with Energy Star. After watching this video, I want you to take a quick walk around your home. I bet you'd be surprised to see how many devices are plugged into the wall. Unplugging devices that aren't necessary or just turning off the switch if your socket has one does the trick. If you go back to our three categories, it is very hard to eliminate loads from the second and third categories, but we can easily control the first one. And that itself would make a huge difference because electronics account for 51% of idle load. The simple act of unplugging devices protects your home from power surges. Unplugged devices cannot be damaged by lightning, burnouts, and other stresses on the grid. The best part about solutions to tackle home idle load is that you aren't getting any value from the wasted electricity. So unlike most climate change mitigation actions, you aren't really giving anything up. Just a simple act of unplugging devices will protect your home from power surges, save $165 every year from your pocket, and best of all, bring about a 44 million metric ton of CO2 emission reduction every single year. Hey everyone, I just realized while editing this video that I forgot to mention a very important solution to tackle this problem. And that is by sharing this video with people so that even they can defeat the vampires in their house. Um, I've linked the study down in the description below. Do check it out if you want more in-depth information. I highly recommend it. It is very interesting. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.